Hello everybody and welcome back to the Best Picture Marathon. In case you're new here, my name's LeBron and in this show we go over every movie that has ever won Best Picture. And the movie for this week is The Broadway Melody. On top of being the second movie to have ever win Best Picture, it is also the first musical to ever win Best Picture. In the film, we follow Hank and Jeannie, two sisters who are chasing their dreams to be performers on Broadway. And with the help of Eddie, Hank's soon-to-be husband, it's not long before the two girls find themselves on stage. And not too long after that, the younger of the two sisters, Queenie, starts getting noticed for her apparent good looks. But it's when she attracts the attention of the local ladies' man, Jack Warner, that Hank and Eddie take it upon themselves to stop Queenie from making one of the biggest mistakes of her life. Now, I'm going to be quite honest with you guys. This video is going to be a little shorter than usual. And the reason for that is quite simple. In fact, I just hate this film. So much so that I really don't have a lot to say about this film. This is also going to be the first film that we discuss on this channel that I in fact would not recommend for anyone. And with that being said, let's move straight into the things I did and didn't like about this film. Quite simply, the least amount of time talking about this film, the better. Now starting with the things that I didn't like in this film. Everything. Now normally I can enjoy myself a good musical. I'm no expert on the topic, but it's not too uncommon that you can kind of catch me singing Summer Nights on a late drive home from work. But in my opinion, as far as musicals go, this is not a good one. In fact, if you were to cut out all the music scenes in this movie, it might even flow better. Definitely not enough to make the movie anywhere near good, but coherent enough to be watchable. Another thing is the really awkward love triangle we get in the movie between Hank, Jeannie, and Eddie. With Hank and Eddie due to be married soon, it's almost immediately after meeting Queenie does Eddie immediately fall in love with her. I mean, his interest in her really comes out of nowhere. I think the only thing he knows about her is that she's apparently really hot. And as the movie goes on, what you come to find out is that the reason that Queenie is even dating Jock in the first place is because she's just trying to avoid her apparent overwhelming love for Eddie. You really lose understanding with these characters when they basically uproot and change everything in their life after only just meeting each other. And it's not even like the film shows us these two people were meant to be together. All their scenes together are really awkward and out of place. And the so-called happy ending of this movie is quite frankly awful. Once Queenie starts spending the majority of her time with Jock, it's shown that Hank is kind of done with show business and is ready to settle down with Eddie. But it's once her creepy fiance starts showing feelings towards her younger sister that Hank just folds. She just lets them go be together. And then she just goes back to show business, clearly at the end of the movie being unhappy. Now I know this movie was made in the 20s and things were different back then, but I simply can't get over how weird the ending of this movie is. And when you take all that and put it alongside of bad acting, forgettable music, and horrible sets, it makes for a pretty boring film. After the one hour mark, I was struggling to stay awake. But enough of my tangent, let's get into the things that I liked. Now, I'm really grasping for straws here. I don't think there's really any redeeming qualities about this film, but if I have to pick something, I think the actress that plays Hank is definitely the best part about this movie. Even though a lot of her scenes are still jarring and don't make a lot of sense, the actress is putting on a really good performance. And that's really it. I found no redeeming qualities about this film and I will definitely never be watching this ever again. Overall, I think I can give this movie a B for boring. Now thank you so much for anyone who stayed to the end of this video. Again, sorry this one's a little bit shorter than usual. I just simply had nothing much to say about this film. But if you enjoy this video, please feel free to like and subscribe. And if you would like, please leave a comment down below. But again guys, thank you so much. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Goodbye.